Chapter 11 of the Book of Psalms from the King James Version. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Psalms 34 to 36. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. O taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their trouble. The Lord is night unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Psalm 35 Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckle, and stand up for mine help. Throw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded, and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back, and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hit catch himself into that very destruction, let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy, from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. 
But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bound down heavily as one that mourned for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together, yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me, and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their distractions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they open their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence. O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their heart, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Psalm 36 The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are a great deep, O Lord. Thou preservest man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O, oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the land of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of iniquity fallen, they are cast down, and shall not be able to rise. End of chapter 11 Athens, Greece, March of 2011 Chapter 12 of the Book of Psalms from the King James Version This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Psalms 37 through 38 Psalm 37 Threat not thyself because of evil doers. 
neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb trust in the lord and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart commit thy way unto the lord trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in any wise to do evil for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be, yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnashed upon him with his teeth, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent the bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. The sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath, is better than the riches of many wicked for the arms of the wicked shall be broken but the lord upholdeth the righteous the lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs, they shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth, and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth, for such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is very merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell for evermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved for ever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the air, and dwell therein for ever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, None of his steps shall fly. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors 
shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Give their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Psalm 38 O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as in a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stick and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I'm troubled. I'm bound down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I'm feeble and sore broken. I have rolled by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth. As for the light of mine eyes, it also is gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my soul, and my kinsmen start afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my heart speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. But I, as a deaf man, heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are not reproved. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope, thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to hold, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. End of chapter 12, Athens, May of 2011. Chapter 13 of the Book of Psalms from the King James Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Book of Psalms from the King James Version. Psalms 39 and 40. Psalm 39. I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence, I held my peace, even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned, then spoke I with my tongue. Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity, Scylla. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches, and knoweth not who
who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in Thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth, because Thou didst. Remove Thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of Thine hand. When Thou with rebukes dost correct man for iniquity, Thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Sila. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner as all my fathers were. O spare me, that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Psalm 40 I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And He hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God, many shall see it, and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I will declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Mine ears hast thou opened. Burn offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God, yea, Thy law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, Thou knowest. I have not hid Thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared Thy faithfulness and Thy salvation. I have not concealed Thy loving kindness and Thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me. O Lord, let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. Mine iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of mine head. Therefore my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tearing, O my God. End of chapter 13 Athens, Greece May of 2011
from the King James Version. Psalms 40 through 41. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God, many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up and ordered unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened, burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is written within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. Mine iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the errors of mine head. Therefore my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, aha, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O my God. Psalm 41 Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou wilt make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul for I have sinned against thee. Mine enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? And if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. An evil disease, they say, cleaveth fast unto him, and now that he lieth he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I may requite them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. And as for me, thou upholdest me in mine integrity, 
and settest me before thy face forever. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, from everlasting, and to everlasting. Amen and Amen. End of chapter 14Chapter 15 of the Book of Psalms from the King James Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Andrew White. The Book of Psalms from the King James Version. Psalms 42 and 43. Psalm 42. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been meet day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me, therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, and of the Hermonites, from the hill of Mizar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy waterspouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my rock, Why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, mine enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43 Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation, O oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. For thou art the God of my strength, why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me, let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy, Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance, and my God. End of chapter 15 Recording by Andrew White Andrew White, USA, at yahoo.com Chapter 16 of the Book of Psalms from the King James Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Book of Psalms from the King James Version. Psalms 44 through 46. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand, and plantest them, how thou didst afflict the people, and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thine arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them, Thou art my king, O God. Command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. 
though thy name will betread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies, and hast put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long, and praise thy name forever. Selah. But thou hast cast off, and put us to shame, and goest not forth with our armies. Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us, like sheep, appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen. Thou sellest thy people for naught, and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger. All this is come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee, neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons, and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a strange God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, for thy sake, are we killed all the day long? We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and forgettest our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help, and redeem us, for thy mercy's sake. Psalm 45 My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured onto thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously, because of truth and meekness and righteousness, and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All thy garments smell of myrrh, and aloes, and cassia, out of the ivory palaces, whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir, Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people, and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions, that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children, whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee for ever and ever. Psalm 46 
God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar, and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to seize unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. End of chapter 16「O oh, clap your hands, all ye people, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible, he is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us, and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, Selah. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our king sing praises for god is the king of all the earth sing ye praises with understanding god reigneth over the heathen god sitteth upon the throne of his holiness the princes of the people are gathered together even the people of the god of abraham for the shields of the earth belong unto god he is greatly exalted psalm 48 great is the lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our god in the mountain of his holiness beautiful for situation the joy of the whole earth is mount zion on the sides of the north the city of the great king god is known in her palaces for a refuge for lo the kings were assembled they passed by together they saw it and so they marveled they were troubled and hasted away fear took hold upon them there and pain as of a woman in travail Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it for ever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness let mount zion rejoice let the daughters of judah be glad because of thy judgments walk about zion and go round about her tell the towers thereof mark ye well her bulwarks consider her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation following for this god is our god for ever and ever he will be our guide even unto death psalm 49 Hear this, all ye people, give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable, I will open my dark saying upon the harp. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about? 
they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to god a ransom for him for the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceaseth for ever that he should still live for ever and not see corruption for he seeth that wise men die likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others their inward thought is that their houses shall continue for ever and their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own names nevertheless man being an honour abideth not he is like the beasts that perish this their way is their folly yet their posterity approve their sayings Selah. like sheep they are laid in the grave death shall feed on them and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling but god will redeem my soul from the power of the grave for he shall receive me Selah. be not thou afraid when one is made rich when the glory of his house is increased for when he dieth he shall carry nothing away his glory shall not descend after him though while he lived he blessed his soul and men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself he shall go to the generation of his fathers they shall never see light man that is in honour and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish end of chapter seventeen chapter eighteen of the book of psalms from the king james version this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. recording by don leary the book of psalms from the king james version psalms fifty through fifty two psalm fifty the mighty god even the lord hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof out of zion the perfection of beauty god hath shined our god shall come and shall not keep silence a fire shall devour before him and it shall be very tempestuous round about him he shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice and the heavens shall declare his righteousness for god is judge himself selah hear o my people and i will speak o israel and i will testify against thee i am god even thy god i will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he-goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me but unto the wicked god saith what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee when thou sawest a thief then thou consentedst with him and hast been partaker with adulterers thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit thou sittest and speakest against thy brother thou slanderest thine own mother's son these things hast thou done and i kept silence thou thoughtest that i was altogether such an one as thyself but i will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes now consider this ye that forget god lest i tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver 
whoso offereth praise glorifieth me and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will i shew the salvation of god psalm fifty one have mercy upon me o god according to thy loving kindness according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest behold i was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom purge me with hyssop and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities create in me a clean heart o god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit then will i teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee deliver me from blood guiltiness o god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness o lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would give it thou delightest not in burnt offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart o god thou wilt not despise do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offering and whole burnt offering then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar psalm fifty two why boastest thou thyself in mischief o mighty man the goodness of god endureth continually the tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully thou lovest evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness selah thou lovest all devouring words o thou deceitful tongue god shall likewise destroy thee for ever he shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living selah the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him lo this is the man that made not god his strength but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness but i am like a green olive tree in the house of god i trust in the mercy of god for ever and ever i will praise thee for ever because thou hast done it and i will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints end of chapter eighteen chapter nineteen of the book of psalms from the king james version this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by don leary the book of psalms from the king james version psalms fifty three through fifty six psalm fifty three the fool hath said in his heart there is no god corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity there is none that doeth good god looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek god every one of them is gone back they are altogether become filthy there is none that doeth good no not one have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread 
they have not called upon God. There were they in great fear, where no fear was. For God hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God hath despised them. O oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 54 Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth, for strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Selah. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. Psalm 55 Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I mourn in my complaint, and make a noise, because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness, Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about it, upon the walls thereof. Mischief also, and sorrow, are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof, deceit and guile, depart not from her streets. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man mine equal, my guide, and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together, and walked unto the house of God in company. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down quick into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings, and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray, and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. God shall hear and afflict them, even he that abideth of old. Selah, because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction, bloody and deceitful men, shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Psalm 56 Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up, he fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word, in God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps, 
when they wait for my soul shall they escape by iniquity in thine anger cast down the people o god thou tellest my wanderings put thou my tears into thy bottle are they not in thy book when i cry unto thee then shall mine enemies turn back this i know for god is for me in god will i praise his word in the lord will i praise his word in god have i put my trust i will not be afraid what man can do unto me thy vows are upon me o god i will render praises unto thee for thou hast delivered my soul from death wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling that i may walk before god in the light of the living end of chapter nineteen chapter twenty of the book of psalms from the king james version this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org the book of psalms from the king james version psalms fifty seven through sixty psalm fifty seven be merciful unto me o god be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge, until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven, and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps, my soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the mist whereof they are fallen themselves selah my heart is fixed o god my heart is fixed i will sing and give praise awake up my glory awake psaltery and harp i myself will awake early i will praise thee o lord among the people i will sing unto thee among the nations for thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds be thou exalted o god above the heavens let thy glory be above all the earth psalm fifty eight do ye indeed speak righteousness o congregation do ye judge uprightly o ye sons of men yea in heart ye work wickedness ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stopped earth her near, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters, which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows let them be as cut in pieces as a snail which melteth let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun before your pots can feel the thorns he shall take them away as with a whirlwind both living and in his wrath the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked so that a man shall say verily there is a reward for the righteous verily he is a god that judgeth in the earth psalm fifty nine deliver me from mine enemies o my god defend me from them that rise up against me deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men for lo they lie in wait for my soul the mighty are gathered against me not for my transgression nor for my sin o lord they run and prepare themselves without my fault 
awake to help me, and behold. Thou therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors, Selah. They return at evening, they make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips. For who, say they, doth hear? But thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee, for God is my defense. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon mine enemies. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power, and bring them down, O Lord our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride, and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath, consume them, that they may not be, and let them know that God ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Selah. And at evening, let them return, and let them make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat, and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Psalm 60 O God, thou hast cast us off, thou hast scattered us, thou hast been displeased. O turn thyself to us again. Thou hast made the earth a tremble, thou hast broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. Thou hast shewed thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Selah. That thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and hear me. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Skechem, and meet out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Adam? Wilt not thou, O God, which hast cast us off? And thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. End of chapter 20